Iran has launched one of its new stealthy catamaran missile corvettes, according to open-source intelligence analyzed by expert H.I. Sutton, who runs the Covershore's website. He noted that this took place as many have been distracted by monitoring the Iranian Makran warship, which is sailing close to the UK this week. Meanwhile, a new boat was put to sea in recent weeks. The boat, which is a large stealthy catamaran design, was launched at a yard on Keshma Island between June 27 and July 2 Sutton noted. This ship is described as one of several under construction that will be called the Shad Soleimani class of ships. At 65 meter long, it will apparently wield anti-ship missiles and air defense. Back in April, a satellite image from Planet Labs, also analyzed by Sutton, noted that it included the third of Iran's new catamarans, designed for this class of ships. This little-known shipyard near the Straits of Hormuz is linked to the IRGC and has been massively expanded he wrote. This is not the first catamaran the Iranian Navy has put to sea. According to Thomas Nudik at The Drive, the US Navy has released video of an IRGC ship called the Shahid Nazari, harassing US ships back in April. The Shahid Nazari is a larger catamaran-type high-speed design that appears to be armed with a 20mm cannon and has a helipet on top of its rear deck he noted. Commissioned in 2016, the ship is 55 meter long and participated in a drill with the Russian and Iranian navies. It is based in the city of Bandar Abbas, along the Persian Gulf. Catamaran designs for naval ships are relatively rare. There are exceptions, such as the HSV-2 Swift that was once leased to the US Navy and then leased to the UAE. Under a UAE flag, it was attacked by Iranian-backed Houthis in 2016. Another catamaran-style vessel is the U.S. Sea Fighter FSF-1, an experimental littoral combat ship. The U.S. has a series of other larger LCS ships, twice the size of the new Iranian missile boat. Washington has also experimented with the Stealth Sea Shadow catamaran. Indonesia has built a futuristic-designed Kluang-class trimaran, which is 62 meter long. Turkey has also looked into building a multi-role trimaran vessel. Iran's navy also looked at a trimaran design back in 2018, which it intended for coastal warfare. It was to be 100 meter long. Sleuths online have found photos and images of the new Iranian catamaran, and also the shipyard that was expanded to build several of them. It remains to be seen how they will be used. Given Iran's interest in harassing U.S. ships and spreading its influence to the shores of Yemen, the ship may help Iran project its power in coastal and nearby waters. The satellite images from early July appear to show that Iran has launched at least one of these new ships. Iran's navy is widely considered not strong, and it has suffered many accidents, including one ship that burned and sank recently. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps has a huge number of fast boats, some of which now operate UAVs. Iran says it has been developing its own stealth technology for fighter jets and vessels, but the prototypes it has unveiled in recent years have mostly been met with derision by defense experts. The Revolutionary Guards last week launched war games in the Gulf, where a third of the world's seaborne oil passes through, and warned that its forces were ready to respond to any hostile U.S. action. In an indirect threat to Saudi Arabia and other U.S. allies in the region, the head of the Iranian Armed Forces warned that any Iranian confrontation with U.S. forces might also target Gulf nations that he said had invited them into the region. Iran's regional enemies should know that alongside a pacifist doctrine, Iran has a powerful military force that are ready to protect Iran's territorial integrity and also hold accountable countries that proposed, the U.S. presence Major General Mohammad Bagheri was quoted as saying by FARS news agency. A U.S.-Iranian war of words has escalated since U.S. President Donald Trump took Washington out of a world power's nuclear deal with Iran in May and reimposed sanctions on its banking and energy sectors. Iran has warned that if it cannot sell its oil due to U.S. pressure, then no other regional country will be allowed to do so either, threatening to block the Strait of Hormuz in the Gulf. 
the Guard's naval arm lacks a strong conventional fleet. However, it has many speedboats and portable anti-ship missile launchers and can lay mines. Thank you.